thought I'd come in here, show the final update on this thing. Obviously, I'm gonna add a few mods and stuff here and there. This is the last update of stuff to get it street legal and ready to roll down the highway. Obviously, mods are just modifications that you do just so it looks better. Uh, so the, what I've done since uh, the last time you saw this, uh, this thing up here, got a new wiper cowl, got it from a scrap yard. This thing is, these things are so hard to find, you literally have to go to a scrap yard and find them. You can't find them anywhere else. I uh, put a bumper on and uh, the tips there, I'll get get to that. Put a bumper on, got this thing at the scrapyard too. Uh, kind of a package deal with the wiper cowl. And uh, I can say these things are hard to come by too, especially the ones with no rust. I got some uh, aftermarket tail lights here. They're pretty much just stock tail lights for an F-150 10th gen, but uh, they got some kind of a smoked out film over them. So uh, I went with these because it kind of flows with with the, with the vehicle a little bit better, as you can see. All right, the last thing that I've done here is uh, I put on a truck exhaust kits Flowmaster 40 series muffler. Now, I went with the truck exhaust kits version over the actual Flowmaster version for two reasons. One, it was cheaper, and two, it sounds way better than the Flowmaster, I think. It comes with duals, and it's pretty much just a, well, I, I shouldn't say it's a pretty much bolt-on thing. There's a ton of fabrication you need to do. And uh, if you know what you're doing when it comes to fabrication, you'll be all right. So if you're buying this for a uh, regular, yeah, regular cab, uh, F-150, uh, 97 through 2003, uh, a couple things you're gonna have to do. One is you're gonna have to get an adapter for three inch to two and a half inch for the stock uh, pipe that comes off of the, the uh, catalytic converter. You're gonna have to get a, an adapter for this, or a reducer, whatever you wanna call it. And then uh, the clamps that it comes with, keep in mind that you're gonna have to get new clamps because they don't fit. They send you clamps, but they don't fit over everything. They fit right here, but they don't fit on the, on the little elbows up there. So keep in mind that you're gonna have to get new clamps. Now, another thing that you're gonna have to get is you're gonna have to get a three and a half inch uh, pipe clamp. You could probably roll with three and a quarter, but I went three and a half just so I knew it would fit and uh, it fit perfectly. And then you're gonna wanna keep your little elbows up here where your stock muffler went just so you can weld on these hangers that they send you. The hangers, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty decent. I mean, they, this thing ain't gonna go nowhere. And then under here, you can see it goes from a single to a dual and one goes over there you're gonna want to go with the start with the right side first it says on the instructions to form the left side but I found out that it's easier to form the right side first these uh, clamps that it comes with it says two and a half inches but I know they're not two and a half inches because they don't fit um, you're gonna want to get some two and a half inches uh, muffler clamps from a uh, auto parts store that's where I got mine the, uh, I think they just stitched in two and a half, but they're actually like two and a quarter. And uh, so yeah, you're gonna wanna do that. Now, the welding part. You're gonna want to weld up each elbow on this thing. Now there's one up there, as you can see. One elbow right there. There's one elbow right there that you're gonna wanna weld up, plus the clamp. And then there's one elbow up there that you're gonna wanna weld up. Now, you don't have to, but I feel like you're gonna feel better when you're driving this thing down, say, a back road when it's really bumpy. You're gonna feel better, and you're gonna know that you're not gonna lose these, because uh, that would suck if you lost your nice tip. The truck exhaust kits version comes with tips that are just, uh, you slide them over the, the uh, pipe that it comes out, and uh, you weld them on. Now, I wish they would have came with uh, slide-ons, but you know, it's no big deal. Now, when you buy this thing and you start putting it on, the pipe on the right side is gonna come out about right here. And uh, you're gonna wanna cut all the way so your tip sticks up about five inches on each side. That side over there, you only have to cut about, you know, 
a foot. This side you gotta cut about two feet off for it to be equal. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. Obviously there's a lot of fabrication and welding and uh, you have to drill into the frame too to hang the hangers, but that's no big deal. I mean, it takes long, but in the end, you can see it looks really, really good. And this thing sounds the best. It's one of the best exhausts I think I've ever seen in person. All right, so now that I've shown you this, I'm gonna start her up and give it a little rev. Uh, it sounds super good and it kind of crackles when you let off the gas. So I just uh, thought I'd come on here and show what I've done. This is the final update of turning this thing from a piece of junk, literally. Uh, I'd say that what it looks like right now looks way better than it did before. And this is just in like four months, you know, it looks super good. And I'm so, so glad I went with this vehicle. I've learned so much through it. Uh, if this thing broke down, I could probably rebuild it from butthole to belt buckle right on the side of the road so i'm gonna get off of here make sure you hit a fat thumbs up let me know in the comments which exhaust you like better do you like the stock uh 2000 f-150 muffler do you like the muffler delete that i did or do you like the truck exhaust kits uh flow master super 40 series muffler and uh, the link to buy this thing will be in the description. Uh, it's super cheap, actually. It's only like 170 bucks for this whole kit. And uh, a little bit of fabrication, welding, a little bit of, you know, back backbone you have to put to this thing. But in the end, it's 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 worth it. So uh, also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. What are you doing? You watch my video all the way to the end. And you don't even hit the sub button. So make sure you do that. Or else you know you know what you are. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time on the Outdoors TV channel.